the portfolio, like you can think of it a little bit as a, maybe as a business card in some ways. And um, with the right business card, what it does, it's like it opens a door. A portfolio is essentially a body of work that represents um, the the kind of point of view and, and the skills and the breadth of an artist or a designer. My name's Cameron Neat. I'm faculty in the design program at Emily Carr University. My name is Birte Fiontek and I teach in the Faculty of Art and I am an assistant professor of photography. It is not so important that it's like technically fully resolved. Um, I'm, I'm looking for more unique ideas, um, experimentation, uh, that a person is really having fun or is dedicated to what they're doing. And I mean, that's amazing if you kind of feel like, oh, this person is not only practicing their artistic skills, but they really have something to say. I generally do like seeing creativity or originality. Um, and, and how those skills are being applied, right? Uh, something surprising, innovative, or um, different is, is always a standout. I, I do not expect anyone to be a master when they're entering design school. That's, that's the reason we want you here, is to develop those skills. So a certain level of commitment and growth in, in a certain technique is, 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 um, is looked for, but we really look at potential. My like main advice is just like you never want to pull this together just like three days before the deadline or something. I definitely think it's worth uh, getting a portfolio review for a couple reasons. One, you're going to get great feedback on your work. Um, uh, the other thing that it's helpful is it, it will help you learn about the school you're applying for. Um, you will know from from that review what kinds of things the, the school is looking for, what kind of culture and what kind of um, educational environment and, and values are behind that. So it, it goes both ways. You're going to get advice about how to present your work and, and maybe some things that you may want to work on, but you also will learn more about whether it's a good fit for you. Uh, a key thing that I want to see is some process and development. And what I'm looking, when I view that, it's not simply like a sketch, but, but how do those things build into to the final piece. Also, you can tell if it's a strong edit. If you feel like everything was done uh, with a purpose and it has its, its place there, and if you would take it out, something would really like be missing. Students who may have over-prepared, where we're only seeing like very polished final work, right? And and I'm not seeing like maybe the parts of the work where there was risk-taking, parts that maybe a lo looser sketches, um, free thought coming out. I do really like to see sketches in a portfolio. Um, and also uh, work that, that I can see was either heavily coached by someone else or prepared by other someone else, I, I usually can tell. And, and it, um, I really want to see how the applicant um, is actually curating and putting themselves forward. That's very important for me. I really appreciate it when um, uh, uh, applicants are able to maybe include a little bit of a write-up or some, or even like have a title that kind of refers to something that I understand, oh, uh, this is what the work is about and this is what they want to say with this. I would encourage students, uh, as preparing the portfolio, to really have fun with it, to not be fearful, to put yourself into it. We love seeing the work. We love seeing uh, uh, young artists developing, and, and we really are looking at the work um, with joy and kind eyes. We love seeing uh, young artists and, and what they do, and helping them uh, find their path.